once again, and welcome to Letters and Numbers, where speed, skill and a good dose of mouse is all you'll need to come out on top. And two people with a house full of mouse, Lily Cerner and David Astall. Thank you. And engaging in just a little bit of friendly competition tonight, our contestants. Starting with our carryover champion, back for his six and what will be his final night, Toby Baldwin. Hello again, Toby. Hi, Richard. Now, looking back over these five previous nights, particular things you remember? There certainly have been a large number of themes, some of them my own generation. <laughs> you have been responsible for a lot of, you know, frowning and thinking and how on earth can we make that word fit that theme? Yes, yeah, so I've been trying to make David's job very difficult for him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, welcome back, Toby. Lovely to have you back on the show again. Thanks, Richard. And tonight's challenger is the managing director of a medical device distribution company who also plays keyboards for a rock band, Richard Stevens. Hello. Hi, Richard. Now, what sort of a band? What's it called? Uh, the band's called Bang Shangalang. Oh, that's a good name to remember. Good name to remember. And uh, we play 70s and 80s covers, so uh, we try and keep the dance floor full at our corporate um, events and um, also play the pubs and clubs around Sydney. Well, I think Toby's been, you know, musically performing and uh, involved with the music industry for a long time. So once again, we've got almost a, a battle of the bands tonight. We had Eleanor, of course, earlier in the week, uh, but great to have you contesting tonight as well. Great to be here. Thank you. So all the best tonight to our contestants, Toby Baldwin and Richard Stevens. <laughs> Let the puzzling begin, as it does with the letters game. And, uh, Toby, you know what to do by now. I'll start with a consonant, thanks. Sure. Let's start with F. And another consonant, please. D. And a third consonant. T. I'll have a vowel, please. O. And another vowel. A. Uh, consonant, thanks. M. A vowel. I. Another vowel, please. E. And a consonant, thanks. And lastly, N. First thinking time for tonight. Friday Night Letters, Toby, how many? A simple six. A simple six for you, Richard? Seven. Seven sounds promising. Give us the six first, Toby. Minted. Your seven, Richard? Fainted. Fainted is very strong, David. I wasn't shocked to hear fainted. Uh, well done, Richard. Uh, it did jump out. A good seven. Uh, dominate is the eight that's uh, lurking in here. And a strong one it is too. Well found, David. But uh, Richard started strongly too on seven points. Let's get some more letters, uh, this time from Richard. I'll start with a consonant, please. Sure. Let's start with R. Uh, a vowel. U. Another vowel, please. E. Consonant, please. G. Consonant, please. D. Um, consonant, please. S. Uh, another consonant, please. N. Uh, vowel, please. O. Um, and a consonant, please. And lucky last C. 30 seconds. <laughs> Your first choice of letters, Richard? Seven. That sounds like like, Toby? Also seven. Let's begin there. Uh, grounds. Yours, uh, Richard? Grounds as well. Okay, would you verify, please? I think they have uh, grounds for optimism. <laughs> they do. Well done. A good seven. I used your name in vain under my breath, Richard, because I thought you should have asked for a vowel. 
possibility of E for undergoes. You asked for a consonant, up came a C, and there was a full Monty anyway. Oh, lovely! That's all we like on a Friday night. Nice way to finish the week. What did you find, Dave? I had to go digging and fossicking, but in the end I did find scrounged. Scrounged. You scrounged a full Monty, and we loved it. Well done. Seven points each, though. Hope you're with you. Well, it's a chance to get our quota of quotients now with the first numbers game for tonight. Now, Toby, you've been keeping us guessing a little bit. You know, to start with, you were absolutely consistent with the family mix. Then you started going perfect match on us. Where have you ended up? Let's go wild tonight. I'll get the classroom mix, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Toby. That's one large and five small. He's having a wild final night. That's what it is. He certainly is. Uh, our numbers, four, nine, one, three... Two and large is 100. The target to reach is 781. We're on our way. Toby, but uh, how did it pay off for you? I had 782. 782, just one off. What about you, Richard? 781. 781, that is right on target. So uh, tell us what you did, please. Uh, I said 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 1 is 8. Multiplied by 100. Uh, no, I've made an error, Lenny, sorry. Oh. You've, you've made a mistake, Richard? Yes, I've made oh, a mistake. Bad luck. Um, Toby, you were only one away, weren't you? Uh, yes, I was. What, what were you on? 782. 782. Seven, eight, okay, tell us what you did, please. Okay, I started the same way. 9 minus 1 equals 8. Yep. And then multiply that by 100. By 100. Equals 800. 800. Uh, now, 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Multiply that by 3. It's 18. It's 18. And if you take that away, that's 782. It is indeed. 782, just one off. Well done, Toby. Did you get to 781, Lily? Um, I did, and I'll talk you through it just with a little bit of tweaking. 9 minus 1 by 100 minus 2, which is 8 by 100 minus 8 by 2, which gives you 784, and then subtract the 3 is 781. Oh, it's, on, it's just a revelation. Beautiful work, Lily. But uh, Toby did well, just being one off and scored seven points. So, Toby and Richard are both on 14 as we head for our first break, your first word mix for tonight. Hiss raft. This time, the clue, a famous beachgoer. See you after this. Okay. 